In the lesson 2.5 example, more taps, more soda, we're going to interpret a regression line. There was a previous example about tapping on cans and whether uh, the increased amount of time you tap on cans had any effect on whether the soda overflowed or not. And the regression line had an equation of y hat equals 248.6 plus 2.63x where X was the amount of time we tapped the soda can and Y was the amount of soda remaining in milliliters in the can. And so we're going to interpret what that slope of the line means. Now there are two numbers here. There's the 248.6 and there's the 2.63. One of those is the slope, that's this. The other number is the Y intercept and we'll talk about that one later. In this case, 2.63 means the slope is the change in y over the change in x. In this case, we're talking about the change in y hat because it's y hat. It's a predicted value of y. And so we can write that as the change in predicted amount of soda over the change in tapping time. Okay, and that value is equal to 2.63. Well, this 2.63 is equal to a fraction, so maybe it would be easier to write that as a fraction. So we'll write it as 2.63 over 1. So what can we say the 2.63 corresponds to? Well, the 2.63 corresponds to the top of this fraction. The change in predicted amount of soda is 2.63. And the 1 is the change in tapping time. So if we're going to summarize that, we can say that for each increase in one second of tapping time, that's the one here, the predicted number of milliliters of soda increases by 2.63 milliliters. And so what we're doing is identifying that this 2.63 is dealing with milliliters of soda and the one is dealing with tapping time seconds. In part B of this problem, it says, does the value of the y-intercept have any meaning in this context? If it does, explain what it is. If not, explain why not. So in this problem, the 248.6 is the y-intercept. Does it have any meaning? It does. It means that the, the, uh, the regression line passes through the point 0, comma 248.6. So what does that mean? What does that ordered pair mean? Well, the zero means that the tapping time x was zero. And the 248.6 means the predicted amount of soda remaining was 248.6 at that point. And so we can say that if the, the, the can isn't tapped, so zero seconds of tapping time, then the regression line is going to predict that there are be 248.6 milliliters of soda remaining in the can. If you'd like to try a problem in your textbook like this one, you can try exercise 9. 